Welcome back everyone, Flash D here with another video. Today we'll be showcasing a crazy comeback win with the Ordals. I'll also be showing you guys how the gameplay went from the beginning to end and also tips and tricks on how you guys can get first place with Yordles. I will say, uh, first and foremost, Yordles is probably not the best comp. It's like mercenaries, it's like Imperial. They get very strong at the late game and it's greedy because you can cash out quite hard at it in terms of gold per value and also winning late game. But the problem is you take too much damage early on and as a result, you honestly don't end up placing top four only because you take a lot of damage in this run i get a little bit lucky but i also make a lot of mistakes due to misclicks and mispositioning but we still eke up the win anyways so let's just get into it so first and foremost in this team comp you want to be able to sustain as little damage as possible ideally what you're going to look for in the beginning is just any two star you can get whatever two stars you can get in the shop you want to get those immediately so that way you can start winning some battles or losing very very slightly that way you don't take too much damage in the beginning so that way you'll be able to make yourself to the end game which is when you'll be able to roll down here i get lucky and i get a swain and i sell immediately to get the two golds out of all the three augments here uh they all suck uh, the only one that's okay is Rich Guy Gets Richer. Rich Guy Gets Richer only comes into effect when you get like 50 gold, but the problem is it takes a while to get up to 50 gold. Everybody else will probably get an augment that boosts up their combat stats, and the Rich Get Richer is extremely greedy early on because, number one, it's not an offensive augment, so you don't get any offensive boost, and so you're going for straight gold. What ends up happening is, is this is going to bite me in the butt because I actually take a lot of damage so the other two don't make a lot of sense only because the other one is the protector emblem uh if i do put it on anybody on the board right now i could get two protectors it will make me a little bit stronger but the two protector isn't that useful because eventually i'm going to sell the garen because garen is going to be my team comp and then i'll have one protector and that treats useless the tactician one where you move faster and gain two health might be okay because you can keep your health total up slightly by healing two every turn and also getting item prio but the thing is with the tactician uh because you're healing two every turn you might not always get car carousel priority because you might have too much health so that also is not that great so the really only option there was actually just the rich get richer the rich get richer only really comes into effect after you get 50 gold so that when you have 60 gold you get six interest and when you get 70 gold you get seven interest at that point though you're hoarding a lot of gold and if you're not ahead you're kind of going to be behind i take a moment to like look around the boards and i see some people are going for yordles uh, this person has the sunfire boards i take basically maximum damage because the darius just cleaves my entire unit down because everyone's basically melee uh, i take five damage not the best but it is what it is At this point, I'm really looking for like a Graves or Garen, you know, anything to give me that juicy, juicy two star. Uh, I don't get it, but I do see the Ziggs. I decide that I probably want the Ziggs, so I sell the Ezreal, get the Ziggs, and then I am contemplating whether or not I want to put the Lulu or the Ziggs in because that way it'll give me three Yordles, but those units are not the best. In hindsight, I probably should have put the Lulu and the Ziggs in to get the three Yordles right away because the because the damage reduction or basically my combat power would have been diminished, but I would have been able to get the economy going for the Yordles because the Yordles would give me the Yordles that once I get the three trait. Over here, I take like a fat Darius key, so I actually don't get all on head. My mistake was not putting in the Lulu and the Ziggs early on in this round because they're range units and I wouldn't be giving Darius a ton of value, but also I would get the Yordle trait right away so I could start cashing out on the Yordles. So big mistake on my part. Over here, I finally get the fourth unit and this is probably when I decide to like put the Yordles in and make it three. I was one turn late, but it's not a big deal. I have the Tristana and I think I pull out either the Graves. Yeah, I pull out the graves and put the zigs in but realistically speaking i should have put the lulu in because lulu provides more survivability and it's more useful zigs level one doesn't do a lot of damage so i definitely troll here but that's okay we still make the comeback so even though i'm not playing optimally right now 
I am able to like eke it out. I take a look at the other people's boards and I see hmm, this person already has a Zig Vex and Tristanos and also another Zigs on the board, so I'm like, alright, shoot. This person is probably gonna be going Yordles as well, potentially, but we shall see. Uh, the thing with three Yordles is what's really good is that it's also it's good for economy because it's always gonna be giving you a unit, so you're always gonna be guaranteed at least one gold, one to three gold, based off of your luck, right? At this point, I also see that this person also went rich, get tricked, and I'm like going like, shoot, this is bad. In the carousel round, you're trying to look for items that are going to give you uh, your carry items for Heimerdinger, Yordle Lord, or Tristan. So ideally, what you're looking for is items that make the Jeweled Gauntlet, uh, Blue Buff for Heimerdinger, um, IE for Tristana, anything like that. But early on, definitely your carry is going to be Heimerdinger, and you're definitely looking for Blue Buff, Jewel Gauntlet. Those are two that you definitely want because what happens is with the Six Yordle Augment, uh, it only takes Heimerdinger two attacks before he casts his ultimate, which is very, very fast. At this point on, as I look at my board, I see that I am not that strong. I'm definitely going to be losing quite a bit. I throw on the Vex because I decide to use Vex to be my tank now because Garen doesn't really do much for me at the point or at this moment. Uh, with this setup, I do have two Arcanists and I decide to just sell all my other units that aren't going to be any worlds because I decide to try to cash in on the Rich Get Richer as soon as I can. The Rich Get Richer is very much a bait augment because you don't really get its full use until you get 50 gold or more than 50 gold which is 60 and 70 but for you to get to that point it's really hard because you're still going to be using money to be getting units and if not you're literally putting it up to luck at this point on when i see the state of this board i realize that i am not in a really good position right now i'm able to make out take out maybe one unit every fight maximum or just take full damage and it gets really rough for me because i end up taking quite a bit of damage throughout the next few rounds I get the Ziggs here, get myself the two-star Ziggs, which is very nice. At this point, my positioning is very eh. There's not much I could really do. I split the Ziggs and the Tristana up just to avoid everyone anything getting happening. If there's ever a blitz in the matchup, I will have to reposition, but luckily in this game, I didn't come across too many blitzes, so I didn't worry about positioning there. But I do have to worry about like Assassin and everything else. As we go into the next fight, I see that this person also has some Yordles. He has two Ziggs on the bench, but this person looks like he's going to go Syndicate based off of the Twisted Fate, uh, the Shaco, and the Zyra. Uh, this point, though, I do get lucky and I do squeeze out a win, which is very nice. Uh, the unfortunate thing is, is that uh, it breaks my loose streak. So unfortunately, with that, I don't get the gold from the loose streak. However, I can't really complain but it's very unfortunate because you know you lose your lose streak and you lose your incoming goals from that ideally you want to be on like slightly losing or completely winning with your goals you're definitely going to be on a lose streak so more than likely you're going to be aiming to lose a bit uh, at this point we get into the pve round which is very nice luckily my units are quite strong right now so i can actually go through the pve and at this point the rich get switcher is starting to be put into effect because i do have 60 gold you probably, with this comp, want to start rolling down once you hit tier 6 or level 6, so that way you can get the most out of your rarity in terms of percentiles. Because once you get level 6, I believe your rarity for like greens and blue stars or blue heroes are probably the highest, and those are like the only, real, only units you're really looking for. I get okay with the pva round and get some decent items uh i'm at 71 gold right now and i decide to greet out at this point i'm just like all right we're gonna hold we're gonna start putting in some use with the rich kids which because at this point i'm gonna be getting seven gold every turn if i have so many gold i look at the items and i see the two tiers which will give me the blue buff for heimerdinger i see that i have a belt and also that will be able to allow me to do a redemption if i want to for my vex and that's what I'm going to be looking for to make the Vex the tank. At this point, I'm looking at the other people's board and I see that this person has a tier 2 Ziggs and also a tier 2 Vex. A little bit annoying. 
I look at everyone's boards really quickly just to see what everyone has. And I see this person has like a tier 2 Heimerdinger and a Ziggs 2, which is not what you want to see because everyone's really kind of contesting Heimerdinger right now, or at least people have Heimerdingers. And that makes me a bit scared because Heimerdinger is the early carry of this game build because if you don't have Heimerdinger you have to rely on Tristana and Tristana isn't a good burst damage she's good for consistent damage but she's not good for burst any CC will take her out I decided to just quickly buy a Mundo because I have the money and the slot for it and I have nothing else here I slow level here to try to get to my level 6 I could try to roll it down right now to get all the units I need but unfortunately with level 5 you have a 45% to get one star and I'm not looking for any more Ziggs or Poppy because Ziggs and Poppy aren't the carry of this team. Ideally you want to get it so that you are looking for like your Lulus, your Vexes, your Heimerdinger because those three are going to be the most useful for your team comp. At this point my Vex is sitting at one star with a Sunfire. This Vex is very weak right now. Very very weak and my team is just getting absolutely crushed. I take 11 damage, basically four more, well technically five more, four to five more hits like that and I can't take it. All the other two augments here kind of suck so I only get the weak spot which is probably the only one I can really get. I roll a little bit, find the Heimerdinger, contemplate if I really want to roll down some more, I don't. I go for the Yordle and I try to look for the Lulu because I don't have the Lulu. I sold it earlier. I find the Lulu. I grab it. And then I decide to just throw in the Lulu, get rid of the Mundo, get the six Yordle. At this point, I have the six Yordle trade, but my team is so weak. I decide to put the blue buff on the Heimerdinger right away. Uh, I make a bit of a positioning error with this because uh, with those three units lined up, uh, it's perfect for a Zyra hit. So I decided to move them around a little bit just to avoid Zyra from getting too much value on my backline. So that's why the positioning is like this right now. I'm avoiding any Tristana or Blitzcrank hooks. So that's why I put Tristana on the very back. She's weak right now. She's not doing anything. So I sit on 52 gold. Uh, technically speaking, I probably should have sold the Mundos. But in my mind, I was like, if I get a tier 2 Mundo, I could be able to stabilize with some stronger units here. But looking at how my board is, I don't think keeping Mundo was the best. Because if I sold both Mundos, I would have had 60 gold to be able to cash in on that 60 uh, Rich Get Richer interest. So I would have gotten 6 gold instead of 5. Luckily, this is the carousel round, and I am thinking of what the next item to get is. I decide that I'm probably going to need to get a tier, because I probably need a little bit more mana, but actually, no, I get the, no, that's correct. I get the jeweled gauntlet, no, not the jeweled gauntlet, the glove, because I have my jeweled gauntlet here with the needlessly large rod. Uh, I think any other item would have been troll, because it wouldn't have done me any good so I was like shoot I need to get these items online so I immediately sell the sell the Tristana as weird as that sounds and put the jewel gauntlet on the Heimerdinger at this point Heimerdinger is one star but he is okay and he is okay in the sense that at the moment he can do a good chunk of damage with the jewel gauntlet and the boob left uh if he survives so i decided to put heimer right there kind of in the corner but not in the far back i move poppy in the front try to move ziggs away but not a big deal it is what it is uh i see this team comp this person is going mercenaries which isn't too bad vex is chilling in the corner i'm redeeming it slowly putting in work he's only doing about like 200 every pop which is unfortunate but he's able to put in some decent damage at this point on, I'm slowly starting to stabilize, which is fantastic. But once again, I win and kill my lose streak, which is unfortunate. This person was very weak, but I can't really complain because I didn't lose any health. So at this point, I'm really iffy with how the state of the game has gone. I'm kind of looking at the board and wondering what else I should be going, if I should be going anything else to, outside of the Yoda Lord, but I decide against it. I get a Heimerdinger. I start rolling a little bit because I do want to try to hit the Heimerdingers that people have been pulling out. I see Tarek in the shop and I decide against going for Tarek right now uh, only because 
two reasons one i don't have the board space to put Tarek in and two i'm looking for hammer dinger like i'm actually really looking for hammer dinger and vexes because hammer dinger and vex at level one really hurts especially at this stage of the game i'm looking at other people's boards and i see that some people are still going with the yordles which is kind of annoying but make do with what you got uh Tristana gets hooked which is fine because Tristana is not the carry in this team at the moment it's literally just the Heimerdinger uh, but Heimerdinger gets literally shut down with the Zyra alt and that goes my team and I take another big fat chunk of damage so at this point I'm panicking a little bit because I'm not too sure if I'm actually going to be able to survive this only because when I'm looking at the state of the game right now I see that one I'm at 31 HP I'm sitting on a lot of gold do I make the decision to roll down, try to find my units ASAP, or do I power level up? If I power level, the problem with leveling up to level 7 is you have a 15% chance to find purple units, and all of the Yordles are 1 star, or like, gray, green, and blue. So if I get power level to 7 and get the extra unit slot, I actually decrease my chance of finding the Yordles I need. At this point, level 6 is like where you want to sit for your units, or at least for your re-rolling, because where you re-roll, it's the best for getting Yordles specifically. And this is very specific to Yordles only, because you only want to stay at level 6 as long as you can to get your Yordles. At this point, I'm aiming to just try to preserve my Rich Gets Richer as much as I can here. Uh, I decide that I give, want to give uh, Tristana Infinity Edge because she is my AD. Uh, I have the option to do a ZZ Rot portal for Vex, but I decide against it because getting ZZ Rot on Vex right now is kind of bad because Vex is only one star. Uh, having her to have ZZ Rot is pretty decent, but it's fine. Uh, once again, Blitz hooks my Tristana, which is whatever because Tristana is not the main carry, but my Heimerdinger gets evaporated by the Swain, which is very unfortunate because uh i need to keep my hammer dinger alive i take 13 damage this round insane damage i'm getting crushed here as you can see i am 28 health behind the next person in front of me but i do get lucky i get vex to level two which is a huge power spike get an eye with hammer dinger decide to roll a little bit more find the yordle and i think i keep rolling because at this point i am a little bit too low uh the reason why i decided to roll down here is for twofold one is because apm if i try to literally eke it out until the last turn i won't have enough time to be able to roll down everything and equip all my items on my heroes uh so that's why i roll down there i could technically greet out a little bit more I wanted to get as strong as possible within the next two rounds because at this point what you're trying to look to do is you're trying to stabilize by rolling down all your gold so that way you only win from here on out so I squeak out a win here which is very nice and I'm really contemplating on putting the ZZ rot on uh, Vex at the moment I get the three star zigs very nice but Ziggs is not the carry this game. Ziggs is actually not the carry. He's not the damage dealer. I think about repositioning my characters. I move Lulu up, move Tristana in the corner, move Lulu a little bit down, and I contemplate again whether or not I want to roll down. I do decide to roll down and pray to Jesus I get the Heimerdinger. I am huge now. I am huge. I've stabilized. Uh, I make a, maybe a bit of a mistake. Maybe, maybe not. I decided just to put the belt on to, to Vex at the moment just to make Vex a little bit tankier. I uh, should get Zephyr, which is fine, because I have my Heimerdinger, which is okay. A Heimerdinger is popping off. Heimer is putting in so much work at the moment, which is fantastic. Even though my Vex hit Zephyr, I'm able to like squeak out a ton of damage now, because a 3-star Heimerdinger is insane. Jewel Gauntlet, blue buff, the best. Uh, I would say those are probably the two core items, and the last item is a flex, because number one, blue buff makes it so that Heimerdinger can get his ultimate in two auto attacks with the six yordle passive and jewel gauntlet just makes it so that your spells can crit i take a look at this board right here and the items aren't too too great i decide that i think i want the tier 
only because the tier could get me static shape with Runa and Turret King, but I was thinking maybe I could get something else like the Fist, uh, with basically the Crit Glove, which basically gives you the 10% heal and 10% attack damage. I think that's what it is. Um, but I decided to go for the tier because everything else kind of sucks. If I go for the recurve bow, it only gives me a rapid fire can, which isn't what I need. So I just decided to go for the tier. The static shiv is okay on Tristana, but at this point, I don't really want to commit on the Tristana because Heimerdinger is still my main carry. Uh, I do decide for the redemption. I think the reason why I go for the redemption here is because I don't have Hextech Gunblade at the moment to allow my... Heimerdinger to be a heal bot. So I go with the redemption and I just clump up all my units together just to allow for like the redemption passive to like kick in. Um it gets a little bit scary because at this point all my units are quite clumped up and if they get CC down, uh I am in trouble. But it doesn't matter because Vex is strong, Heimer is strong, and Tristan just kinda doing her own thing there. At this point though, you can see that the Rich Gets Richard isn't really being used at all anymore because I'm not really sitting at 60 to 70 gold. So like I said, the Rich Gets Richard isn't exactly the greatest buff, only because you can't really cash out on this. At this point on, I'm looking at these three. Ascension, Celestial Blessing, and Makeshift Farmer. I... all three of them are decent, but Ascension is a little bit too greedy. Uh, it's either Makeshift Armor or Celestial Blessing. I decided to go Celestial Blessing because if my Hammer Ginger can do a lot of damage, he'll be able to self-heal. Same thing with Vex and all my other damage dealers. So basically, that's in lieu of not being able to have the Hextech Gunblade. Uh, Celestial Blessing is a very clutch rune to have at this point because it will be putting in work much later in the game. At this point, I decided to reposition my units just a little bit because number one, I'm still contemplating and thinking about Zyra's. The person has a talent, and I see that the person has a talent, and if my Heimerdinger gets sniped out, I am in trouble. Uh, but I do decide to keep this positioning because I have a Lulu. Uh, actually, no, I don't. I move the Heimerdinger up because I, th I think that the talent's going to jump to the very back, and he's either going to hit the Ziggs or the Lulu. So I decide to put my timer really close up, which is a little bit of a mistake, maybe. Uh, Shroud goes off on the Jin, which only hits the Poppy, which is very nice. My Tristan gets pulled, which is fine. I'm trying to keep my Heimerdinger alive. Heimerdinger is living in the middle, and we decide that we pick up the dubs right here. Nice, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Heimer doing 3k damage. He's the main carry at this point. Lovely. So, at this point, I'm sitting on 55 gold. I'm contemplating on whether or not I want to try to still get use out of the Rich Gets Richer. Uh, luckily, luckily, it's a PvE round, so I don't have to really worry about rolling down quite, quite yet. Uh, and I would say that, I think I'd look at the other boards, I believe, maybe, maybe not. But, yes, so this PvE round is actually really good because it gave a ton of items, but I trolled a little bit because I remember uh, putting in items I wasn't supposed to. So I get heroes, actually a lot of heroes, and I sell them for gold because I'm just like, all right, sick, I get the rich gets richer passive. Uh, so I do get to cash out on these, which is nice, but I'm just like, hmm, interesting. At this point, I decide to go to level seven because I have a social light here. So I do get the social light, but the social light, oh, square is in such a terrible spot. It's in the first row, which is terrible because I can't really put my Heimerdinger in the first row. So I just put Vex as like the person who's going to do the damage right now. Vex's ultimate does infinitely scale if you get more ultimates up. But I see this person's board. He's got seven innovators. Oh, this is a problem. Seven innovators is really, really strong. Uh, when I see this, I'm looking at, hmm, I don't really survive. I get Seraphine ult. All my units are clumped up. They're getting CC down. Uh, my Heimerdinger is putting in some work, but yeah, my team gets crushed here. I'm sitting at 2 health after taking 14 damage. Now, we're at a, we have a problem. Uh, 
I'm contemplating at this point to just put the ZZ Rot on the Vex. I think I do need to put ZZ Rot on the Vex because if I don't, I'm actually trolling. So at this point, I get to start Lulu and I think I make the decision here to start rolling down hard. I see the Lulu, grab the Lulu, roll. See the Tristan, get the Tristan, roll. And we keep going and we're basically picking up whatever Yordles we can. I decided it's time to get the target because he has got the Social Light and also the Enchanter passive. Uh, I put the belt on Vex and the recurve bow on Hammerdinger by accident because I was supposed to put that on the Vex for the ZZ Rod and I troll a bit there and I'm very sad because if I lose I'd be very very choked because that's that's so troll. I have half an item on each of my characters and they're not the best. This gets really close. I'm looking at this and I'm like, I don't know if I win. It's three units of two, three units of one. So right now it's just the Vex solo carry. If Vex dies, I lose. But luckily Vex is tanky enough with Sunfire's board with the redemption to keep her topped up. Oh, I just squeeze out just barely a win. All right, at this point I've made the decision. All right, we have to roll down. I was like, do I want the Seraphine? I'm like, uh, yeah, no, we're putting in Tarik this time. We put the Tarik in because number one, you get the Social Light, but also Enchanter buff for Lulu, which is very nice. I start looking for all the rest of my Yordles. So I am rolling, not too hard, but I'm starting to like roll down. I'm looking for the Tarik and whatever Yordles I can. I'm slowly getting them and then I run out of time. So at this point, I just sit on 30 gold and call it a day. This person is running Imperial with Academy. The Katarina is the battery. Uh, Katarina Academy battery is kind of scary because this person has a 3 star Garen, but it doesn't matter because my <laughs> Heimerdinger melts his team with my Tristan, which is phenomenal. So we make it past another round. But as you can see, I am sitting at 2 health. And first place has 63 health. It is insane. I see this carousel and I'm basically looking for anything that will help me out. I can't get the iconic spark because I trolled. Uh, my Vex doesn't have a spot so I decided to go for the Zeke's Herald for the attack speed. Uh, the Zeke's Herald is going to help me with uh, Tristana and Heimerdinger and one other unit that I decide to put it on because what happens is it increases my attack speed. So that, well, number one more damage, number two more ultimates, and number three, uh, well, overall damage boost so I can't complain. I see a Lulu, grab the Lulu, sell the Misfortune, and I get the 3 star Lulu, which is lovely. I decide that I'm going to put the Zeke's Herald on Lulu. Uh, I'm thinking about this at the moment because I need to put my 3 strongest characters side by side, which is very bad because Syndra. I get 2 star Tarek, 3 star Vex, which essentially puts me at 6 Yordle Lord, but I have 2 health. I have like literally two health and I have nothing else at this point on I'm basically maxed so on my team uh, I see that this person syndicate Shaco goes to the back gets instantly well not instantly but gets popped because number one Lulu ultimate keeps my people topped up Heimerdinger gets really low but we were able to squeak out the win oh barely if Heimerdinger falls the game might be over like actually, if Heimer dies, it might be over. He's the majority of my damage. I still have Tristan, but Tristan doesn't have a lot of items. Tristan only has IE, and that sucks. I get the Yordle Lord, finally, but the problem is I do not have the board space for it. I contemplate on putting the Yordle Lord in replacing the Tarik, but at this point, I just cannot afford to put the Tarik on the bench because number one, uh, Vigar does not have any items and Tarek provides with me a lot of utility because of the social light and also the enchanter. At this point, I'm looking at the board and I'm going like, all right, I have to get myself to level eight for the extra board space and then I'll be at end game board. If I don't, I'm basically screwed. Here in this matchup, I am against the seven innovator, which is very scary. My Heimerdinger gets pulled to melee and Heimerdinger is almost dead, gets an ult and dies. Um, I still have Tristana, I still have Lulu, and I still have Vex. Those become basically my carries because number one, Vex is omega tanky, Tristana is on the background doing major damage, and even though Vex is stunned out, Vex is just a tanky bot right now. Squeak out another win, 
barely get out of it, and I see this dragon. This is a humongous, crazy dragon. I.E. Archangel Jeweled Gauntlet. Those are crazy items. Uh, I can't put another I.E. on Tristano. And I have those three items. Uh, guess where those three items are going? Uh, you guessed it. It's going on the Yordle Lord. Unfortunately, IE does not double stack. If it would, I'd give it to Tristana, but I think putting it on the Yoro Lord is definitely the correct play here because number one, he becomes my second carry, and number two, having double crit items on Vigar with the Archangel Staff is insane. I basically become a crit bot. As you can see, I try to put it on Tristana, but I can't. <laughs> I can only just have one. So I'm just like, sure, whatever. Uh, I learned that the hard way that, yeah, Drisvana or any hero can only have one IE, which kind of sucks. I make the decision to go all in here, all in. Get myself to level eight, throw Vigar in, and give him all three of the items I just got from the dragon. This is a huge lucky moment because in any game through, if I don't get those items, my Vigar is kind of useless. I get the wumbo, wumbo, items here at this point i keep my three carries in the back but not in the furthest back i have tark sitting in the furthest back just in case anything crazy jumps to the back like an assassin or whatnot uh, i see this i'm going against the syndicate three star swing oh my jesus but then my furry horns go and goes to town and just makes the damage goes through celestial blessing is coming in clutch right now because my team is pumping out so much damage my team's getting so much healing viker did 8,000 damage that game or this match it was insane i was like okay if i get two star vigar i am i am i am gucci and speaking of three two star vigar two star vigar here we go oh at this point i'm like i think i'm okay i actually think i might be okay with the positioning of how my units are, I leave them as it is because at the moment, I'm looking at everyone else's and I see like, all right, this person has a three-star Talon, kind of scary. This person only has like a three-star Swain and this person is going the seven innovator and I'm like, hmm, but he only has one star Jace, so he's not too, too scary, but he's still scary. The dragon is crazy strong. I go against Imperial Academy. Uh, so Talon's the back line messing me up, but it's okay because even though he jumps in the back like any assassin, he just gets absolutely murked because my team is able to keep everyone alive. As you can see, my Heimerdinger is taking a ton of damage, but heals up with Celestial Blessing. I only lose one unit, which is the Lulu, but everyone else is topped up. It's insane right now. I get so lucky. At this point in the time, I'm going like, I think I'm doing okay. I decide against changing up my board only because number one, Vex is the tank, Tarek is there to like provide the heal, but I don't want his heal popping off right away. I keep getting more Vigars, but at this point, I don't think I'm going to be able to get like the three star Vigar because we're so deep into the game and everyone has no HP. There's no point. Uh, there's no real, there's, there's not really much units I'm kind of looking for. I'm trying to look for Tarek. Well, I could try to get a 3-star Tarek, but 3-star Tarek is really the only thing I'm looking for, and with the gold I have, I'm just like, uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to get a 3-star Tarek. At this point, this is the end board. This is the end state. We're going up against the 7 Innovator. Very scary, but even though it's very scary, I'm able to keep alive because even though my team's taking tons of damage, I am pumping in more damage. Vigar is dropping bombs and all his furry horns are critting. And the only thing left is just actually the dragon. So I get rid of his entire backline and that's it. It's got nothing else left. We go into the carousel round. I am first pick. I'm looking at this board and I'm going like, ha. Huh. I can't really get anything except for the blade. Because the gun blade, I can't put on Heimerdinger because I trolled with the slot. I can't get the Rabidons because Heimerdinger's or Vigor and Heimerdinger's full. So the only thing left is just literally the blade. All the other traits aren't useful because I don't have any good traits. So I sell the Mundo, put, or try to put the Death Blade on the Vigor, but I'm like, nah, we put it on Tristana. Then we call it a day. Tristana right now is just going to do tons of damage, but her attack speed is very slow. I do think about trying to move my Tristana into the Lulu buff to get Zeke's hair, but I'm going like, no. 
this this is just too strong my two carries are my vigar and my heimerdinger and the faster they attack the better they get this the faster they get their skills the better at this point on there's only three people left and we're just putting in crazy work we're against the imperial academy once again uh this time though the talent is on my vigar but vigar is healing out of his booty cheeks because he is pumping out tons of damage and we completely murder the guy three star talent gets close to kind of killing our vigar but vigar just has too much damage and with that we end up getting first place easy peasy so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time bye for now